last class uh, we discussed kardashev's law so today we'll see its uh, applications what was the statement of kardashev's law at the infinite dilution when dissociation is complete each ion makes an independent contribution towards the molar conductance of electrolyte or we can say at infinite dilution molar conductance of an electrolyte is equal to the sum of the individual molar conductance of the ions present in it so here in this table you can see the molar conductivity at infinite dilution of some of the ions some positive ions and some negative ions are given here so what will be the molar conductance of h2o from this table we know h2o dissociates as h plus and oh minus so which are the ions produced h plus and oh minus so what will be the molar conductance of h2o molar conductance of h plus plus molar conductance of oh minus at infinite dilution so molar conductance of h2 at infinite dilution is equal to 349.6 plus 199.1 these two values are given on the top similarly you can find out the molar conductance at infinite dilution of kbr what will be the molar conductance at infinite dilution of kbr molar conductance at infinite dilution of k plus plus molar conductance at infinite dilution of br minus 73.5 plus 78.1 it is given in the table if you want you can find out the molar conductance at infinite dilution of cscl2 but here there is a problem cscl2 on dissociation gives 1 ca2 plus and 2 cl minus so what is the molar conductance at infinite dilution of cscl2 molar conductance at the infinite dilution of ca2 plus plus 2 into molar conductance at the infinite dilution of cl minus that is 119 plus 2 into 76.3 i think it is clear to you now you see the next question calculate lambda zero m for cscl2 and mgso4 from the data given in the table you already explained the calculation on cscl2 the calculation on cscl2 first uh, how to write the dissociation reaction cscl2 gives ca2 plus plus 2 cl minus therefore what will be the equation lambda 0 m cscl2 is equal to lambda 0 m ca2 plus plus 2 into lambda 0 m cl minus substitute the values 119 plus 2 into 76.3 the value is 271.6 cmn centimeter square all raised to minus 1 the same way you can find out molar conductance at infinite dilution of mgso4 what is the dissociation reaction of mgso4 mg2 plus plus so4 two minus only one ion is produced so the simple addition of 106 plus 160 okay now what are the applications of kolrash's uh, law calculation of the first one is calculation of molar conductivity at infinite dilution of weak electrolyte in the case of strong electrolytes we can find out molar conductance at infinite dilution by extrapolating the graph to y axis which graph the graph plotted by uh, by taking molar conductance at the y axis and square root of c at the x axis then you will get a straight line graph for strong electrolyte that can be extrapolated to y axis but in the case of weak electrolyte there curved graph so we cannot extrapolate it to y axis so you, there is no means to measure or to find out the molar conductance at infinite dilution of weak electrolyte 
we can calculate molar conductance at infinite dilution of weak electrolyte by applying Kolderashi's law. Uh, I will explain it with an example. <coughs> For example, molar conductance at infinite dilution of acetic acid can be calculated from molar conductance at infinite dilution of sodium chloride, a strong electrolyte. HCl, a strong electrolyte. Sodium acetate, another strong electrolyte. From the values of molar conductance of these three strong electrolytes, it is possible to calculate molar conductance at infinite dilution of acetic acid by applying Kolderashi's law. We have a problem, then I will explain it in detail. The next one to calculate degree of dissociation of weak electrolyte. Degree of dissociation of weak electrolyte alpha is equal to lambda mc divided by lambda m0. What is lambda mc? Molar conductance at the given concentration c. What is lambda m0? Molar conductance at infinite dilution. That is lambda m0. So at the given concentration, you can measure molar conductance. But molar conductance at infinite dilution can be calculated using Kolderashi's law. So with the help of Kolderashi's law, you can calculate alpha degree of dissociation. And to find out the alpha degree of dissociation, we can use the equation, which is the equation? Alpha is equal to lambda m c divided by lambda m zero. Finally, to calculate dissociation constant of weak electrolytes. Last year in the chapter equilibrium, you have studied the dissociation constant of weak electrolytes. For example, weak acids, K, represented as K, dissociation constant of weak acid, K. K is equal to C alpha square divided by one minus alpha. But in the case of uh, uh, weak acids, the dissociation will be, degree of dissociation will be uh, low. Therefore, one minus alpha can be approximately taken as one. So we can generalize K is equal to C alpha square. So these three are the important applications for the applications of Kolderashi's law. Now we can see some uh, examples. Why does index dissociation? Why does the conductivity of a solution decrease with the dilution? Here, simply given conductivity. What is meant by conductivity? Specific conductance. Why specific conductance decreases with the dilution? In a single sentence, you can write the answer. What is the answer? Specific conductance or conductivity of a solution decreases with the dilution because of decrease in number of ions per unit to volume of electrolyte solution. Already we discussed it. Suggest, second question, suggest a way to determine lambda m0 value of water. When we discussed the table given in the previous slide, we explained it. Molar conductance of infinite dilution of water can be calculated from the lambda m0 value of H plus and lambda m0 value of OH minus. Lambda m0 of H2O is equal to lambda m0 of H plus plus lambda m0 of OH minus. Already we calculated it. Next question. The molar conductivity of 0 0.025 mol per liter methanoic acid is 46.1 semen centimeter square mol raised to minus 1. Calculate its degree of dissociation and dissociation constant. Given lambda 0 of H plus 349.6 semen centimeter square mol raised to minus 1. And lambda 0 of HCO minus is equal to 54.6 semen centimeter square mole raised to minus 1. Here, what is methanoic acid? Methanoic acid is HCOOH. So lambda 0 M for HCOH is equal to lambda 0 M of H plus plus lambda 0 M of COOH minus. The values are given here. H plus 349.6 and HCO minus 54.6. If you add the values, you will get the lambda 0 M for HCOH. 
next day you are asked to calculate degree of dissociation what is the equation for de degree of dissociation alpha is equal to lambda m c by lambda m zero lambda m c is given at the concentration 0 0.025 that is equal to 46.1 so lambda m c is 46.1 you can substitute it there lambda m zero that we can calculate here by adding 349.6 and 54.6. Now, what is the next question? Calculate dissociation constant. What is the equation to find out dissociation constant? Ka is equal to C into alpha square. C is 0 0.025 mole per liter. Alpha, uh, you can calculate it uh, here. Then substitute the values and find out Ka. Okay, now you can see another question. The conductivity of 0 0.001028 mol per liter acetic acid is 4.95 into 10 raised to minus y, Siemens centimeter raised to minus 1. Calculate its dissociation constant. If lambda m0 of acetic acid is 390.5, Siemens centimeter square mol raised to minus. So it is a simple question. You can calculate it by direct substitution to the equation alpha is equal to lambda c, lambda m c divided by lambda m zero. That is lambda m c four point nine five internalized to minus five divided by lambda zero three ninety point five. Siemens centimeter square mole raised to minus one. Then you will get alpha. Then what is dissociation constant Ka? C alpha square as we solved in the previous case. Now you see another question. Lambda M0 for NaCl, HCl and NaC sodium acetate are 126.4, 425.9 and 91 semen centimeter square mole raised to minus one respectively. Calculate lambda M04 acetic acid. HAC means CH3COOH. That is HAC. CH3CO minus. That is AC. CH3CO minus is AC. So here, Lambda M0 values of three strong electrolytes, NaCl, HCl, and sodium acetate are given. You have to find out lambda M0 weak electrolyte acetic acid. So you know lambda M0 of NaCl is lambda M0 of Na plus plus lambda M0 of Cl minus. Lambda M0 of HCl is lambda 0 M of H plus plus lambda 0 M of Cl minus. And NaC, lambda 0 M for NaC is Lambda 0 M of Na plus plus, plus 0 M of acetate. Here, lambda 0 M of acetic acid is HSC is lambda 0 M of H plus plus, lambda 0 M of SC minus. In the previous equations, you can see here lambda 0 M of H plus is present. This one, lambda 0 M H plus is present. And lambda M0 of AC minus acetate ion is present here. So we need these two. From these three equations, we need only these two. So in order to get these two, you have to add lambda M0 of HCl plus lambda M0 of NaAC. At the same time, these two are excess. Na plus and Cl minus lambda 0 of Na plus and lambda 0 of Cl minus are excess that is not required here so in order to remove that from this equation we have to subtract lambda 0 m4 nacl then minus lambda 0 m of na plus minus lambda 0 m of cl minus lambda 0 m of na plus minus lambda 0 of na plus lambda 0 m of cl minus minus lambda 0 m of cl minus so we can conclude Lambda 0 M4 HAC is equal to Lambda 0 M4 HCl plus Lambda 0 M4 HCl minus 
lambda 0 m4 nsl so the values are given you substitute the values and find out i think uh, it is enough for today <clears throat> so by this uh, we discussed uh, all the portions that is given by ncrt uh, now and uh, uh, about uh, three or four topics are remaining in the chapter uh, we can discuss the uh, these topics later okay we can stop it here thank